We've got the brand new Zhiyun Smooth Q4 Smartphone Gimbal, and it's pretty awesome. Now, I'll be honest, since like stabilization on smartphones have been so good of recent years, I, I don't know if it's necessary to have a gimbal for smartphones. However, nothing really beats a smooth gimbal shot when you want to push in on an object or a subject or you want to orbit around something. Like using an actual gimbal really does help you get those smooth shots. And when I was filming in New York with the Smooth Q4 and the iPhone 13 Pro, I was very impressed with everything filmed with this combo. All right, let's talk about this gimbal. First of all, the exterior build of the Smooth Q4. Uh, I actually really like it. It's uh, it's very sturdy. It's uh, it's plastic and you have this rubber grip over here to help you hold on to the gimbal. And it does have a more sturdier build to it over the previous Smooth Q gimbals. The button layout is simplified with a much better joystick. Like joysticks from previous Smooth Q gimbals have been on the cheaper side, but this new joystick is definitely much better. Next to the joystick, you have your mode button. And with that, you can cycle through all the traditional gimbal modes that we all know, lock mode, pan follow, follow mode, vortex mode, POV mode. And if you double click on the mode button, it'll cycle through the gimbal modes in one direction. And if you push the mode button once, it'll go back to the previous gimbal mode, which is nice so that you don't have to cycle through all the gimbal modes all over again. Just below that is the record button so that if you pair your phone with the gimbal, you can actually start recording video just by pushing the record button on the gimbal instead of having to push the record button on the phone. To the side of the mode and record button is this wheel. You can actually use the wheel button to control the light that is on this gimbal. It's not attached, it does uh, come included. Here it is, over here there's like a little light and there are magnetic connectors which you can connect to the top of the gimbal. We'll talk about this later, but you can activate the light by pushing the wheel in and even determine the intensity of the light by moving the wheel up or down. So, very nice feature. Moving the handle around, you have your trigger button and if you press and hold it, that'll turn the gimbal mode into follow mode, which is my personal favorite. Or if you want to reset the position of your gimbal, just double tap on the trigger and the axes of the gimbal will reset themselves. And finally, on the other side of the gimbal is the power button to turn and turn off the gimbal, as well as a USB-C port to charge it. On the bottom of the gimbal is a quarter 20 thread, which you can attach the, the small tripod legs to the bottom, just like so. And then set the gimbal on a flat surface, and there you can attach your phone onto the gimbal or just let it sit there or use it as decoration. Woo. In fact, let's go ahead and set up my phone on the gimbal right now. Got the iPhone 13 Pro. And then on the plate of the gimbal, you'll see a camera icon. And that's going to tell you where the, the camera of your phone should be. All right, so the camera icon is telling me to put the, the camera side of the phone to the left side. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to position my phone so that it's somewhat balanced. Kind of like that. Yep, something like that. I'm going to press and hold the power button. And in a few seconds, the gimbal's going to turn on and it's going to self-stabilize itself and now I can use it. Now you'll notice that it's automatically in, um, in vertical mode or portrait mode. Uh, you could totally film vertical content, which is really cool with this gimbal. But if you want to film traditional horizontal content, all you have to do is press the trigger button in the front of the gimbal three times. One, two, three and it'll switch to horizontal mode. So it's totally cool that you can switch back and forth because a lot of people have been filming on Reels and TikTok lately. So it's just a nice way to quickly switch between vertical and horizontal content. Vertical, horizontal, vertical, horizontal. And then if you press and hold the mode button, it'll go into sleep mode. And so if you need to like swap out your phone or if you need to answer a, a call on your phone, you just press and hold the mode button to enter the gimbal into sleep mode. Do whatever you want on your phone, and then once you're done, put your phone back in, press and hold the mode button, and it'll wake up the gimbal, and you're ready to start filming again. And if you want, you can actually extend the reach of the Q4 by just pulling the gimbal like this. <laughs> right now it's in sleep mode. I'm gonna turn it back on. And then now you have an extended version of the gimbal to, to do like wider selfie shots, or if you wanted a, a higher reach, because if you're short like me, that might be helpful. But yeah, if you want to extend the gimbal, just simply pull it out and just start filming. And then to close it, just close it in like that. 
and then wake it up from sleep mode, and now you can use the gimbal like normal. There's an interesting thing about the Q4 where the gimbal doesn't really sit upright when placed on a, on a flat surface. It kind of angles itself forward in a way. I don't know why, maybe it's like a, a balancing or maybe it's just Zoom trying to be cool or whatever. But yeah, just something I noticed that the gimbal leans forward when you set it on a flat surface. It's like it's doing that Michael Jackson smooth criminal thing, you know? The Zhiyun smooth criminal, there you go. <laughs> when you get the smooth Q4, it comes in this really cool case. Inside is the gimbal itself, as well as the small tripod legs. And there's a zip compartment that houses the magnetic light and the filters. Speaking of which, let's talk about the light. So here is the light and here are the, the filters, uh, which are also magnetic. And if you want to attach a, uh, an orange light, if you want to have tungsten lighting, then you just simply attach it in front of the light and now you have tungsten lighting. I don't think it's exactly 3200 Kelvin tungsten, it's just maybe more of an orange light. And honestly, I'm not necessarily a big fan of these filter lights. I mean, they're cool and I love that they're magnetic, but but yeah, I don't, I don't personally like using filtered gels on these small lights. The light, however, is really, really cool. Like I said before, there are magnetic connectors on the bottom. And if you're filming yourself or filming someone else and it's dark, uh, you can actually attach the light onto the top of the gimbal and it'll automatically turn on, which is uh, really, really cool. And like I said before, you have the control wheel to determine the intensity of the light. So right now I'm just kind of filtering through the different uh, intensities from not so bright to a little bit brighter to even brighter and the brightest. And so yeah, a cool little add-on on the Xeon Smooth Q4. Also, magnets are cool, man. So overall, I think the Smooth Q4 is a really fantastic gimbal and probably my favorite gimbal that I've used with any smartphone, simply because it's super easy to use, it's intuitive, I love the design, I just love the feel of it. It's definitely a lot more uh, robust than the previous Smooth Q gimbals. And I love how compact it is. Like yeah, you have the case and the small legs and all the other accessories included with the gimbal, but honestly, I would just take the gimbal, fold it up and just pack it in my camera bag and, and that's it, that's all I'd carry. I mean, maybe I'd pack the legs as well so I can put it on a flat surface but because it's so small like it makes you want to bring it wherever you go and in a way like this whole setup can be like a really good B camera setup like if you have a main camera like a Sony a7s3 or a7 IV and you also want to bring a B camera just in case with a gimbal but you don't want to carry a big gimbal then you can totally use your smartphone and the Xeon Smooth Q4 because one you always bring your phone wherever you go and two the Smooth Q4 is that small and that lightweight that you could just put it in your bag and just leave it there. I don't think there's anything I don't like about this gimbal. I mean, I, I just use gimbals for their basic features and that is just to film smooth gimbal shots in follow mode. And for me, the Smooth Q4 does the job very well. So in a way, it's kind of a basic gimbal, but it's the type of gimbal that I like because it's small, because it's lightweight, because it performs, and also it looks it looks pretty good. So if you wanna check out the Xeon Smooth Q4 gimbal, links will be down below. But if you're looking for a gimbal to handle more of a sturdier setup, maybe for a lightweight camera like the Sony ZV-E10, then check out my review of the Xeon Crane M3 right over here.